What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable video for you. Today, I want to go through a couple of the CPA bill offers, uh, find one to promote, uh, and then show you how to build a website or a landing page around it, however you want to call it, uh, to make the uh, offer a little bit more appealing so that people, you know, will be more prone to go through with the actual process. Okay. So uh, when you go to CPA build, you just want to click over here. And you want to go to offers okay you click all offers and then it'll bring you to a page like this right uh, and then on the bottom you'll come down here and you'll just look now the ones that says locker only you don't want to use these at the current moment okay you would just come here and just find you one so let's say we use the uh, Panda Express you would just simply click over here make sure it says running okay you click get link simple just kind of like CPA uh, grip you would copy this right and then you want to check it so you want to paste it somewhere just to make sure that's the right link okay and so we know normally a lot of people are used to seeing these because CPA is pretty popular and a lot of people have probably already came across these uh, so you never want this to be your front end because you know some people will run away. Uh, build a landing page around it to make it more appealing. And so what I mean is, I'm gonna go here to lead pages. This is my number one recommended way, uh, just for CPA offers because it allows you to post them on Facebook. Uh, you can make really good lead pages and things like that. So, um, let me go to Panda Express, and this is what I was telling some of you because. Um, some of you have sent me uh, your your uh, offers and wanted to know, you know, what's the best way to do landing pages. Now you could, uh, of course, right click this entire thing like this and view page source. But some of you said uh, when you were doing that, it wasn't showing up completely. So some websites won't show up completely, and so you may have to just go in and manually do things. And so what I'll do is. I'll look at this website. Of course, this is their official website. It looks really nice. Okay. Uh, you can just pretty much save this video like that. Okay. And then you could screenshot. So this right here, what I have at the bottom with these, uh, oh, you can't see it because I don't have it on there. So if you click on your search thing, you can find snipping tool. So you may want to download that if you don't have that on your computer. So I'll click that and this will just allow you to screenshot if you're on a laptop. So what you can do is if you wanted to, you can just copy this here. The entire thing. And then it'll save it as a picture. That one was kind of sloppy. Let me do that one more time. Just to make sure I got it. I might as well just do this entire thing right here. But yeah, you always want to make sure you get pretty much all of it. That's just going to have to work just for this video because I'm not going to actually use this one at the moment. But I'm just going to give you guys an example. Uh, Panda, I'll just say that. And then what you can do with lead pages is you can come here. Where is my page? There it is. Now you can actually click on this you can add an image all right and then we're going to upload we'll go back to pictures and then I'll, I'll type in panda so i'll just save that and this will stretch across the entire uh page okay just kind of how the website did right and if you wanted to you know show more which I actually don't because I had a cutoff, but you can actually just add spacers and it'll drop down more and then you can fix, you know, the rest of it over here. But I'm actually just going to delete the spacer because I like how that looks. Okay. And then so you will go back to the website and you see they have a video right here. Uh, let me refresh the page so I can see. And so they have this picture right here. So you could actually just you know copy this if you want to or you can just keep the video in the background now with this particular page on uh, lead pages I don't think they will allow you to just have a video in the background so you would just click right here you click add another section and then you would click on the section and these are all the options that they give you uh, right here 
okay so they don't have a place to add a video so you could either add an image right there as a background uh, but what I'm going to do is add a video right and so technically when I click on this it's gonna have me add the embedded code so typically what I would have to do is let me go to YouTube just to go through this entire process I'm on the wealthy Hunters page uh, you would just typically go to your YouTube channel and do a regular upload and I'm just gonna put this as an unlisted while while it uploads and it should do it fairly quick so let me go to my desktop and then let's see if I can find it should not be under video bingo right so we'll unlist that while that's uploading I'll come back here and then we'll go back and look and see what else they have right so now you have two choices right if you right click here it'll just have you save and so you can't save that so this is something that you would have to screenshot as well okay now let me click out of that so we'll go back to our snipping tool we'll click it go new come here and just screenshot the rest of this right and you can do it all the way to about right here so now we have that and we save it under uh, picture yeah save it under picture and then you want to come and uh, go here to add a new section now you can either do this two ways you can either drag this under as an image which I don't recommend because it won't stretch to the entire uh, length so what I would do is I would just click in this section add an image right here go to upload go here and then click on uh let's see where I save it at was it pictures or desktop I might have saved it under documents if I'm not mistaken Give me one second gotta make sure I remember where I saved it Oh okay. I know I know where I got it at now. Let's see here. Should be in here somewhere. Okay, so I found it and then I click insert the picture. Now it will show up small like this. Okay, so what I was telling you guys earlier is that sometimes you have to add spacers to get the full uh, picture. So you just go in here and add a few spacers, so it'll you know drop down the entire thing. And you just keep dropping them. I think that's the entire. Oh well, I may have to do like one more. Let me see here, Either the top or the bottom there it is okay so I had to add a few spaces as one two three four four spaces for this entire picture to show up and I still think some people's faces cut off so I may have to add more at least one or two more there we go so now everybody's face is in there okay so these little things blue thing lines won't be here uh, when the actual page is you know coming on so this actually is starting to look really good okay as an actual website okay so we'll go back to uh, first let me add the video since the video should be complete now so the video is complete I would just click embed it I would just copy this code so copy and then I would come to my lead pages click on the video portion scroll down and then you'll see embed it right here and then you would just paste that code there and now you have yourself your video right so you see what I'm saying so I would actually remove this or if you wanted to you can go to vimeo.com and add the video from vimeo 
Uh, but I would actually remove the Jeremy Cash stuff and all that. But as you can see, they have a functional video. Okay. They have the uh, logo here. And then when they scroll down, they have this here as well. And then you will go back to uh, Panda Express. And if you, like I said, if you wanted to add that over the top, you could, but I'm not going to do that part. Uh, when you, when they have the get social. So for this particular thing here, what you could do is just add a section and it says get social. So you just add a section and then you click on it and you just change the color to red, right? And then you can just do the get social. Now the color probably doesn't match because it's probably a little bright you can actually darken that if you want to but I'm not gonna do it right now and then you would just come back over here to widgets and then you would click on a headline and then you can just put you know get social and then you would simply go here you can bold well it's already bold so you wouldn't have to bold it uh, and then you can just change the color to white so go to add color change it to white this is actually a little bigger, but hey, it wouldn't matter because, you know, it's all good. So now we have the get social part because that's a lot, a little smaller. I could actually make it smaller if I wanted to. So let's make the, at least make the text a little smaller. And then I can space it. I don't want that much space. So we'll leave it like that. So that works. Okay, so after that, what else do we have? We have a bunch of different uh, things here. So either you can save these links, which I oh, was actually going to save as a website, so you probably can't do that portion. So what I would do is I would go here, <clears throat> and I would just go ahead and screenshot these pictures as well. So you go new move this up some and then I would copy from here and then I would copy this entire thing because it doesn't have to be exactly uh, like this because it's just going to be a uh, appealing a very appealing landing page and it's people are going to go through it like crazy okay because it actually looks like something you know what I mean um, and so I'll just say picture two two or something like that just to save the picture then we'll go back to lead pages uh, and then we'll come down here and add and either I can add a section or I guess I'll add another section I'll add a section and then we'll click on that section and then we'll go to wait let me click back on the section there we go we'll go to background just to make sure we can find image upload image then I will have to go to picture two right here open once this opens up it should save bingo and then go back to widgets and then add spaces to to make it a lot uh, bigger and that may actually be enough but if not let's see there we go so bingo starting to look really good right starting to look like a really good landing page guys and this is how you get a lot of clicks and a lot of different um, sales. And I'm also going to show you uh, a better way of doing um, as far as Facebook goes. So let's go back here. And this is very, very simple. It does take a little time, but it's actually worth it. You can actually make this stuff clickable by doing one click things and all that. Um, but you always right click to see if it'll let you save as. For the most part, it won't. If it says web page complete, it's not going to let you save it uh, the correct way, so you're going to have to screenshot it. So, uh, and, and guys, if you don't want all of this stuff, you don't have to. Like, you can stop at a certain point if you feel like that, that landing page looks good, good enough. You, know, you can do that, but I'm just going to keep going just for video purposes. But uh, just to keep, you know, repetition so I can show you how simple this is. You just pretty much, same thing on this one screenshot it the entire thing and then we'll save as picture three 
right? And, and it's just doing pretty much the same thing the whole entire time. But uh, it turns out really good. And then at the end, you would put your, you know, your lockers or whatever when they click on. And I'll show you guys all that stuff. But uh, so we added another section here. We're going to go to add image upload and then we'll go here to picture three okay so we're gonna add this last picture uh, so I may not do the bottom section but we'll go to insert and then we'll have to add some spaces so go back to widgets go to spacing and just grab it and drag it over on top of it and then do another one to make sure it shows up completely. And we may have to do like one or two more. I think that may be good. Maybe not. Let me make sure. There we go. So now that entire thing is up. Starting to look starting to look exactly like the website. Okay. And then like I said, you can do one more if you wanted to. Ah, what the heck? Let's just do it. <laughs> Let's just do one more. This is the last thing. We might as well just copy this entire thing all the way down here. That way we don't have to keep doing it like that. So save that. Save this as picture four. And you can do this like with any website. If you don't want to do the uh, view page source way, and you just kind of want to do it manually to tweak certain things. You can do that because it's a lot. You know, it's actually really simple to do it this way too. Uh, cause some, like I said, some websites won't let you do the view page source or it'll let you, but it won't show up completely and you'll have some things missing. So if, if this is a better way, uh, I think I already saved that. If it's a better way this way, I think you should do it this way. Cause this is what I did with the Avengers movie. I did the whole screenshot thing. You don't have to worry about all these drop down menus or anything. Cause most people are just going to come here. And so we'll add the last section here. Click on the section, add an image, and this is on lead pages, guys. So I highly recommend getting lead pages. This is at the bottom of the the video. Uh, it's also in the comment section. It says my number one capture page, uh, and I, I make a lot of different things with this, guys. And so I think you'll love this system. Let's see. Oh, picture four is where I had it at. Bingo. All right, so after this, it's time to get down to the nitty gritty, right? So you add that there and then go to widgets. We'll add our spacing. So by now, I think you guys get it, how simple it is. But just taking that extra time uh, to do this is going to make the difference in the people who make a lot of money and the people who don't. You know what I mean? So that's why I wanted to show you all uh how to do this because i think that's pretty much it oh we're cutting this face off so there we go okay looks good so what we'll do is we'll come here and we'll preview it just to make sure it looks you know how it's supposed to so they'll come to your landing page they'll have their videos let's click on the video right it's just going to show them a bunch of different things Ah, okay, nice and legit. It's a nice landing page. It looks a lot nicer than just having the offer by itself. They come down here, they're looking, they're looking, everything comes out. So I may still have to add another spacer to here because his face is cut off. But it fills up the page, you know, just how it's supposed to. And then we go to exit the preview. So looking really good. Yeah, see, I gotta add a couple more spacers on there for his face think that's actually good when you're done you can publish it but we're not done here so after that guys you would pretty much click uh, on which one you want you know to add a certain link to or whatever and you can do that or you can just come down here and add your own button or add another image and add another button so I'm just gonna give you a random example because I would just matter of fact I'm gonna add a Mm. I'll add a section here and then we can add a button right here and we're gonna change this color to red and then you can put something like 
uh, what is this one? What does the actual offer say? Uh, Panda Express gift card. Okay, so that's what we'll do. Uh, get free Panda Express gift card. And so, what was how much was it for? It says a hundred dollars worth. All right. And so we'll do the hundred dollars right here. And then with this, I believe if you want to change the text color, you can. I'll probably leave it like that. And then if you want to make it a lot bigger, you can to make it stand out. The spacing, you want the kind of to be pretty bold, right? And so you can add one right here, and then you could also add one right under the video. So what I'll do is I'll do the exact same thing again but I'll just add it right under the video so that way it's like one at the top one at the bottom and you can also add arrows pointing to it uh, if that's something you want to do to make it more appealing and so we'll say get free panda express $100 gift card and it's just going the extra mile uh, to make your stuff a lot better and this is why a lot of you uh, were not getting conversions is because you didn't it didn't look appealing you know to somebody when you're sending them to it they're like ah, whatever what is this you know what I mean but if it looks official like this then okay now they're gonna go through it so this should help you all a lot uh, and then you make the spacing pretty big and bold like that. Okay, now we go to um, the offers. And then we'll click on, this is CPA build. So you go to your offers and you go click get link. And then we'll grab this link again. Okay, so we'll grab this link. And now when we go back to our landing page we'll click on the button we'll click on this little toggle here and we'll go to link to external right there bingo we'll save that okay and then we'll go to the bottom and do the exact same thing link to external save bingo right now you have you an official page so let's and then we'll save that so I can see the actual page, see if it's anything that we need to tweak. So I'll copy this link, open up a new window and paste it, and let's see what we got. All right, looking official. Probably would have added this video under Vimeo. But other than that, I like it so far, so good. Yep, looks good. That's big and bold, so they'll, they'll be able to click that. It's a great landing page. Everything's looking good so far. Everything looking good. All right, so let's see. We click on here, and it takes us where? Let's see. Panda Express. So, bingo. So this the kind of stuff that I was talking about. If you're going to run like an ad, if you're going to run like an ad, you need like pages that look like this, like something that looks official, okay? Uh, because that way people are actually going to want to go through with the, the actual link. And honestly, even if you wanted to have a video kind of walking them through the process here, it's still going to get a lot of more conversions because of how it looks. You see what I'm saying? And then you could actually make these clickable if you want to, to make it, you know, a pop-up. Uh, and another thing with lead pages is that even if... Let's let me show you. So, for example, if I click this, you can actually make this a pop up. So let me remove this link so you can make this a pop up section. Right. You can do that or you can, you know, make it jump to a different page. You can make it a different kind of pop up section right here. And so it's actually, you know, pretty cool. So <clears throat> let me give you guys an example. Let me see if it'll let me do it on here. Because it'll actually let you pop up and, you know, add, you know, emails and all that kind of stuff. But I don't think I saved it. Yeah, I didn't save it. Let me 
see here. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not sure if it's going to let me add one on this one, this particular one, but we'll see if I can save it. Oh, I don't have anything for it to go to, that's why. Yeah, so it won't let me do it on this one, but I'll have to show you guys in a different video. But yeah, that's pretty much how you would make your, you know, your actual uh, content locker uh, page, right? So it's not really locking the content, so you're pretty much doing one for your offers. But this is how you make your offers convert a lot better instead of just having, you know, a random, you know, going straight to the offer itself and you're not going to get that many. And so, like I said, for instance, like you can do Avon, uh, you can do so many different ones. And this one actually would probably be a really good one, depending on what it looks like. Oh, yeah, Avon. You can do a really good one right here. So, for instance, with Avon, let me go to Google and just see what, what their website looks like. Avon.com. Just see how official it is because I'm pretty sure it's nice and official. I don't actually don't look as good. Let me just go to shop online. Shop online probably looks a lot better. So, yeah, I mean, it looks. Wait, once everything pops up. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. That looks real good. Nice slideshow. See what I'm saying? Imagine imagine having this as a landing page, right? And then whenever they click on, you know, any one of these buttons, then your content locker pops up. This is, you know, how you get a lot of different sales. So some of you, you just got to put more into what you're doing. I think that's the problem with some, the problem that some of you are having. You're not putting in enough, uh, work on these pages. You just use, some people are just promoting the offers and sometimes you got to go that extra mile. I actually like this page. I might use this. <laughs> I might use it. So for instance, like I said, guys, you could try this with, uh, view page source with CPA grip. I don't think you could do it on CPA build, but if you wanted to try this and copy this and paste it, if the whole thing doesn't show up, then you know what you have to do. You kind of just got to go in manually and do a little work, but it'll be worth it in the end. All right. So that's pretty much this video, guys. Um, if you need any help with anything else, let me know. Comment below the video what you think. If this helped you in any type of way, uh, we'll be making more videos on CPA Build as well. And if you guys want to see more on CPA Grip or any other platform, let me know. All right. Other than that, peace.